Hi, my name is Michelle and if you've seen me before then welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another video of mine. And if you've never seen me before then like I said my name is Michelle and I post every Sunday I like to do clothes videos, lifestyle videos and I love making vlogs as well. So if you'd like to see any of those things then make sure that you subscribe and like this video if you like it. So today I'm doing a video where I'm going to compare loads of different brands of jeans ultimately to Levi's. So I've got jeans going from £15 Primark jeans to £95 Levi's jeans. So if you're like me and you like to spend your money wisely and you don't, you know, I don't know how you could spend £95 on a pair of jeans and if it would even be worth it, but I'm about to find out for you. So if you want to find out, then keep on watching. I'll go through them all and show you what jeans I've bought and the original prices and then keep watching till the end because I actually didn't pay the original prices for most of these jeans. I got them at a really, really, really heavy discount. Um, so if you want to find out how I save money on my clothes and specifically these jeans, then keep watching till the end and I'll give you my top tips to save money. I got all the jeans in a size 12 or a waist size of between 28 to 30. I don't know, we'll see if they fit. So the first pair of jeans is the Vintage Mom jean from Primark and these were £15. The second pair of jeans are from H&M and they're the Mom jeans high waisted ankle length. Then we have the High Rise Slim Leg from Miss Selfridge and they were £29. And then I got another pair from Miss Selfridge because I wanted the free shipping. And I got the super high waist mom with the slim fit tapered leg and they were £29 as well. These are from Topshop and they are the premium mom jean and these were £46. This pair from Urban Outfitters doesn't actually say what it's called. It does say packs on the label so is that what the jean is called or am I just embarrassing myself? So it's either called packs or these are definitely mom jeans. So this is the first pair from Levi's. These are the mile high cropped flare and these were originally £85. The next pair from Levi's is the 724 high rise straight and these were originally £95. And then the last pair is these 501 original cropped from Levi's and these were also originally £95. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try them all on and I'm going to rate them out of 10. And then you can see if it's worth paying the extra money for good quality or if the cheaper ones are just as good as the more expensive ones. So these are the first pair of jeans that I tried on. These were the mum jeans from Primark. And although I think that they look really nice, as soon as I put them on, the first thing that I noticed was that they were really scratchy on the inside and not comfortable at all. I think that they look really good to other people. But to me, I knew that inside that they weren't comfy. They were a little bit gappy, but not too bad. And they did feel quite baggy in a good way. They felt comfy in the sizing, but just not in the material. So yeah, when I did sit down, I was a bit worried about the gap, but it wasn't too bad. And because they're quite high waisted, I wasn't really worried about anything showing. This is the gap that there was. It was quite a big gap, to be honest, but obviously a belt could fix that. But in the end, because of how uncomfortable they were, I would rate these a 5 out of 10. They're basic jeans, so if you only want to spend £15, then it's fair enough for that price, to be honest. But just be aware that they're definitely not the most comfortable. And going from joggers to these you definitely notice a difference in comfort. I wouldn't really choose to wear these around the house personally. So I think that there are better jeans out there. The second pair of jeans that I tried on were the black mom jeans from H&M. These were £20 and as you can see they have a button up rather than a zip. Personally I prefer a zip but I just thought it was something to notice in case you do like button up. Unfortunately these were a lot tighter than the Primark ones which was good in the fact that it didn't gap but as you can see. <laughs> I don't really like this brown patch. I kind of think, I don't understand why it's there at all. It doesn't have any detail on, on it at all. It's just a random brown patch. Compared to the Primark ones, these were a lot more tight fitting. So if that's what you're looking for, then great. But for me, I found that that limited my movement quite a lot and I kind of felt like they were gonna split at any moment. So even though they fit my waist, they weren't really comfy around my body at all. Yeah, there just wasn't that much of movement and 
Overall, I would rate these a 4 out of 10. I would rather have the Primark ones to these, even though the Primark were a worse material, because at least I could move in the Primark ones. These are the Miss Selfridge Mom jeans, and these were £29 originally. So, these were a lot comfier than the other two. However, whilst they fit a lot better around my hips and my body, they were quite gappy at the waist, unfortunately. I wasn't too sure about the bottom, so I tried to roll them up and see if that would improve things, but it left me with quite a short fit. I'm not too sure how I feel about this length. It does seem quite short to me. Let me know what you guys think there. And yeah, so it's just a... It's just a solid mom jean, to be honest. This was kind of what I was expecting, and I would more than happily wear these two lounge belt in the house with. The only thing is the gap at the back, but obviously a belt would fix that problem. So overall, I would give these a 7 out of 10. These were the second pair of Miss Selfridge jeans, the straight-legged ones, and these were also £29. I did like the style of these, I thought it wasn't necessarily my usual style, but the more I looked at them, the more I did like them. Much the same as the mom jeans, they fit really well around my hips, but unfortunately they were even worse than the previous jeans in how much they gapped at the back. Once again, I could wear a belt with them, but it is just like slightly annoying. Um, and I do wish that those jeans that could fit me perfectly. Keep watching to see if I did find a pair of these. Anyway, yeah, I just like the mom jeans. I had quite a lot of movement in them and I would really happily just chill about in the house with these. They do look quite casual and quite faded, which is obviously the style, but they weren't the perfect pair of jeans that I was looking for. I would also give these a 7 out of 10 because I like them just as much as the mom jeans. They were just a different style to what I was used to, but the more I look at them, the more that I do really like them. The next pair of jeans were these ones from Topshop, which were originally £45, and I think I finally did it guys. I think we found the perfect fit of jeans. So if you're like me, I would really, really recommend Topshop jeans. Even though these look a lot skinnier than the others, they absolutely fit perfectly around my hips and most importantly around my waist. Look at that, zero gap, absolutely amazing. So I was so, so happy with these jeans. I love the colour of them. I love the rose gold detailing. And yeah, I literally loved everything about them. The only thing is because they were kind of that skinny style and I'm kind of not a big fan of skinny jeans anymore. Um, I'm trying to move away from them into something a bit more comfortable. So they were slightly more restrictive and I didn't have as much movement as I would have liked. The jean material was absolutely fine but it just wasn't as stretchy as it could have been. So simply for that reason I'd give it 9 out of 10. Everything else was amazing but I think they could have been slightly more stretchy and comfortable. These were the Urban Outfitters Pax jeans and these were originally £55. I did not enjoy wearing these at all they were really hard to get around my hips because even though they did fit at the waist again they were quite a tight fit around the top which looks really flattering but just for me and the uses that i want to get out of these jeans probably let's be honest lounging around um they just weren't the most comfortable at all. I just wanted to get them off as soon as possible because they were really tight. They had even less movement than any of the other jeans that I had tried on before. And I really, really didn't like these at all. These were a grey, so if you think that they look quite faded, that is why. But I wasn't a big fan of this colour. I like my black to be black and my grey to be grey. And this was kind of in a weird in-between. I also didn't like the length. I think it is quite high for me. Obviously, if someone likes that, that's fine. But for me, I wasn't a big fan of the length. And yeah, it really just came down to how little I could move. If you want to wear your jeans and only stand up for the full day, that is fine, but I would like to sit down sometimes and I feel like I couldn't do that without splitting these jeans. So unfortunately, even though they fit me at the waist, I just didn't feel comfortable in them at all for the rest of my body. For this reason, I'd give these a 4 out of 10 because I would actually prefer to wear the £15 Primark ones because at least I could move in them. So the first of my Levi's jeans, these were the Mile High cropped flare and they were originally £85. Were they worth it? Absolutely. These were my favourite pair of jeans by far that I tried on throughout the day. 
and they were just so comfy we finally did it guys we finally found a pair of jeans that fit me around the hips and the waist and that was super stretchy i felt like i could have done anything in these jeans yoga running you name it i could have done it these were so comfy i literally just didn't even want to take them off and i could use these to lounge for in the house but also they just looked flattering so yeah 10 out of 10. also from levi's these were the 724 skinny straight leg and they were originally 95 pounds again these were super comfy even comfier than the ones before i did prefer the black only because it was really high-waisted so even though these are called high-rise what i found out with levi's is that the high-rise isn't very high at all compared to what i'm used to just having super high-waisted skinny jeans so do bear that in mind and definitely definitely don't order the mid-rise if you like high-waisted stuff definitely stick to high-rise or mile high if you can in my opinion but yeah i loved the fit of these they were really really comfy and i did quite like the detail at the bottom there's a tiny tiny bit of a flare which i'm not used to but i quite like them and then i did try to see what they had look up rolled up as well i'm not too sure about this style i think they might look better um unrolled but if you like them rolled up, let me know in the comments so I know what to do in future because I will definitely be keeping these again another 10 out of 10. And finally, we have the last pair of Levi's, originally £95 again. These are the 501 original crot and these were hands down my favourite jeans that I tried on all day. We definitely saved the best till last with this one. Again, there's a tiny, tiny bit of a gap but nothing too much at all i can definitely live with that and these jeans were just so comfy these jeans out of all of them were the ones that i'd want to pick up if i was lounging around in the house i think the length is perfect and i love how they're distressed at the bottom yeah. they have the raw edge and yeah just again what more can i say super super comfy these are a button-up one rather than a zip and i did mention before that i liked a zip up but i am willing to see past that because of how wonderful these jeans were i completely completely love them and yeah of course i would give these 10 out of 10 if you hadn't worked that out already Okay, so I'm wearing my new Levi's 501 original Crocs because I love them. These were probably my favourite out of all of the jeans between these ones or the black ones. Um, anyway, so I promised that I'd tell you how to get jeans for cheaper. So I'll let you know that I didn't pay full price for any of these jeans apart from the Primark and the H&M ones. So my first top tip is to look in the sales at the moment, especially there's loads and loads of sales. I think there's usually sales in the summer and in the winter. So there's so many sales right now. So I got most of these jeans at a discount just because of sales. And then on top of that, or if there's no sales, definitely use student discount if you're a student, don't forget it. And also NHS discount works as well on some places. So make sure that you utilize your discounts that you're getting given and I got student discount on top of the sales as well so that really makes a big difference and thirdly is outlets because I did not pay £95 for these jeans or any of the other Levi's jeans that I bought I got each pair for £20 yep that's right £20 because I went to an outlet a design outlet um, and they had three for two on Levi's jeans including the sale products so this pair of jeans were actually down to £30 in the sale. The 724 high rise straights were down to £30 in the sale as well and the black mile high cropped flares were only £20 in the sale. So I got a three for two which means that it came to £60 so when I split that between three pairs of jeans it's £20 each. So that means that I paid £5 more for these Levi jeans than I did for my Primark jeans and obviously my Primark jeans got 5 out of 10 and my Levi jeans got 10 out of 10 so that's a massive difference so don't think to yourself like oh I can't afford £95 of Levi's jeans because neither can I but I still got Levi's jeans because I was smart about it and I went to the outlets when there were sales on and yeah it was it was a very good day. I think that's everything that I've got to tell you. I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed buying all the jeans. I'm a shopaholic. So if you have any more videos that you want me to do, leave them below in the comments. I'd also love to hear about what your favourite pairs of jeans are. If I didn't try them on today, let me know because I always want new jeans. And yeah, I'll talk to you in the comments and I hope I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.